What's going so on? This guy's under arrest for impaired driving. Impaired driving? You haven't even done a blow test though. There you go, look at this. Yo. Oh shit. He's a New York cop. He's a New York cop. Hands on the wheel, buddy. Hands on the wheel, buddy. Hands on the wheel. It's undercover. Hands on the wheel. It's undercover. It's undercover. Hello and welcome to a special undercover episode of the Two Shot Factor, where we wear dark and mysterious glasses and don't even have to button up our blazers because even at 15 degrees Celsius, maybe it's 19, the memory of the heat wave is still very rich and sweaty. <sighs> As you can see, I make my own sound effects. All oh, rolling here. Huh? Rolling. I'm at two percent battery. What an idiot I am! Uh, you don't, you don't judge, you don't judge your equipment. How are you supposed to film me being surfical if you can't film surfical because you got no charge in your phone and you can't? Okay, we're in a Did cloudy kind of network here. Yeah. Fucking go down. Go down. Go on the cover. You might not know this, but there's a reason we gotta get liquor. We gotta look drunk, you know, because we're on the cover. Cops don't drink. I'm a cop. I'm a New York cop. A little while back there, me and a friend, uh, Serpico, the agent from New York, played by Al Pacino in the 1974, in between the first and the second Godfather movie. We were rolling down to the store, and we were gonna meet our good friend, Roger. Hey, look at that. Hey, what? partner, look, we got firefighters over there. I can't see. It. We're undercover, so we can't let them know that I'm Serpico. Not even the firefighters, they're all in on it. Everybody's in on it. You gotta catch these motherfuckers. Can you support it? You know, think he knows something? Pretty good think that guy knows something on the left? Oh yeah, he's in on it too. See? He's into that buy one get Oh yeah, he's he's definitely into the hell. Look at him. Look at him. He's barely standing. Okay, here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. That's what happens when you do too much heroin. Now oh, we can't shit. get liquor. Holy shit. Yeah, go around. That's insane. I didn't know, I don't know what happened, officer. I was just fucking high on heroin. We got a good view of this too. Let's go out and interview these guys. Holy shit, that's a fucking wreck right there. If I ever seen one. It's Urban Indiana Jones. We got him. He's probably going to get some relics and ancient artifacts. Okay, you got tough guy string? There you go, look at this. Yo. Oh shit, he's a New York cop. I came out with the alcohol, luring Roger to the temptation of debauchery and intoxication. But then from behind came an unsuspecting surprise. Shit. He's a New York cop. Hands on the wheel, buddy. Hands on the wheel. It's undercover. It's undercover. <laughs> Serpico rolled in with ninja moves and grace. Oh yeah, brother. Christians. You got this buggy here? You been rolling this buggy around? You take it down. Take it out. Get rid of that buggy. Give her that buggy, kick it over. Buggy. Buggy. Okay. Huh? Film. He's a New York cop. I'm a New York cop now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up there. He's a New York cop. Say hi to the New York cops. Hello. Hi. Wave at the people. Say you're a New York cop. I'm a New York cop. That's right. What, are you going to follow? Are you going to get some more alcohol? Uh, I'm going to take off in like an hour. An hour, eh? Yeah. That's okay. He'll fucking, we'll be okay. We got Roger. following us. And here we are passing yeah. that axe. New York cop. FBI. Yeah. yeah, that accident was crazy. Those guys were all on heroin, or some of them were. But maybe some medicine people probably. He's, he's, a, he's a real, he's a real surgical. He got shot in the face. Yeah. You know that? You hear about that? Yeah. Yeah. He's on the force. Many years ago, he's my partner. He's my partner. What's going on? Hey. What's going on? Sure. Can I just pull over there? No. Put the engine off. Okay. Engine off. 
What the heck happened? As we finally got to our house in nice northern suburban mission where things are safe and families are about security, all of a sudden, right behind Roger. some lights were on, a real undercover cop was there. A real undercover cop. What the heck's going on? They're arresting him. They're arresting him? Yeah. For what? I don't know. Holy shit. What the hell's going on? What's going on? Impaired driving? You haven't even done a blow test, though. How do you know he's impaired? Yeah, I was like, you know, I've been in this situation before, but this time it was like, all right, that's it. We got the panda bears in the trunk, right? Okay, nobody make a sound. Seriously, though, this is pretty weird. Guy tells us to turn the engine off. Now he takes Roger. We get the volume and you listen carefully. We'll get captions. He says, I can't get I can't even get focus. What the What the fuck? What? Uh, well, we yeah, were, I know him. We were gonna, we were gonna hang out with him, and then we just sort of follow us. He's back. been asking me to hang out for a long time, and finally, we finally hung out with him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he is hammered. Okay? Is he? It's as simple as that. Yeah, okay. okay. I just met him at the liquor store. He yeah, pulled up there, just, yeah. and then he followed us back to my place because we said just follow us. Well, he is hammered. Wow. I guess he's not getting alcohol. I hang out with that guy anymore? No, <laughs> we never did. Not. We all. never did, huh? Where you live? Uh, okay, when's the last time you had some alcohol? Uh, yesterday evening. Okay, pop over to the car. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Any alcohol in the vehicle? Uh, yes, please. We're okay. Today. Okay. Yeah. And where were you guys? Liquor store, BC. Yeah. And we were, we told him to meet us and then follow us up here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what's with the get up? What are you guys? Oh, we just filming our stupid shit. Oh. Yeah, we were filming a, like a YouTube thing. Yeah. The officer is certain that one of the members in Serpico's car, be it Serpico or Two Shot, is under the influence. Two Shot had had one beer before. Oh no. We didn't do anything wrong, but I figured if we didn't do anything wrong, this guy's here saying several times that our driver, he thought, had been drinking, even though he hadn't been. I suspect this guy's got nothing better to do than to start some trouble, perhaps. At 14th and Cedar, now we went in the turning lane to go to 14th to go to the 14th cold beer store. But I said, no, 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 we're not doing that yet. We still have some smokes. Let's go chill out with Roger. Not waste our time, then do that later. When Serpico and Two Shot changed their minds about turning left to go to the 14th Avenue pub and went straight up the hill, what effect did this have on the officer? Did he think they were under the influence because of this erratic driving decision, which of course could have endangered many lives and even left some in wheelchairs? Oh, God! Yo, we're Christians. What prompted the undercover officer to follow them in the first place? Was it their flamboyant behavior outside the liquor store? Was it an alert that went off inside his computer after scanning the license plate? Or was he just following Roger all along? He said he's just wasted or hammered, I believe is what he said. He said he was gonna be letting him go. I didn't I didn't understand. Arrested? I thought arrested mean you're going to jail. Either way, Roger, Roger. He was temporarily arrested, cuffed, you know, whether for safe uh, security reasons. He, he believed he was drunk. He didn't give him a blow test, which I found a little unfair. I know you can kind of judge by a person's actions, but let's be honest, Roger. He has a bit of a condition here. And this cop apparently knew it. What is his condition? He was shot in the face by a train cop. Yeah. One person in hospital after being shot by police. A 33-year-old man is in hospital after being shot by police Wednesday morning on a set of train tracks near Lougheed Highway in Mission, BC. At 8.15 a.m., Mission RCMP say they received a complaint that a man had allegedly stolen a knife and merchandise from a grocery store in the 32,000 block of Lougheed Highway, and was last seen walking into nearby bushes. According to I Hit, he was then shot by a CP police service officer. Walker, you want to get arrested? Walker, you want to get arrested? A long time ago, Roger. I was living on the streets, in a dark place. 
He had no food, he had no money, and he stole some steak from Safeway. It's a bad thing to do, but he was hungry. I mean, it happens. The thing is, he also had a steak knife, and I don't believe Roger went up and attacked a cop with a knife, but simply put it up to defend himself, which of course is bad, and you're gonna be warned to drop it. Whatever happened to tasers, right? Or shooting in the knee? Unfortunately, none of that took place, and a shot to the- that's a kill shot. A shot to the face? The guy's trying to murder him. I just think that's completely unnecessary. And what Roger. told us after, because he was released as his car got towed away, and was allowed to come down here. He said he blew 0.05, which is less than the old minimum amount, 0.08. 0.05 is like two or three, maybe four for some people, but two or three for probably average drinkers. Roger. He had two empty uh, cans or bottles, I think cans, in his uh, trunk, I think. He told us that he drank two, and he told the officer that he drank two, and 0.05 checks out pretty realistically as two. And when I saw him, he did not seem hammered. He didn't even really seem drunk. Yes, I understand he shouldn't be driving, yada yada, but let's be honest, that cop told us he knew him from back from that shooting incident. And guess what? Roger. He has a lawsuit against them. Apparently hundreds of thousands of dollars. It could be more, obviously, but that's just what it is. That's what his lawyer worked out, I guess. That's the deal. I don't know. That's just what I heard. So that tells me that this cop is following him and treating him like this, cuffing him before a blow test and saying he's hammered when he's clearly not, saying, oh, I'm going to judge him by the way he talks like that, but not realizing that maybe being shot in the face might have an effect on the way you talk? Think about it. Kind of a little revenge act almost. Unbelievable. I don't know, man. What do you think? Was the officer being hard on Roger because of the lawsuit against the police for shooting him in the face? I went undercover for a while. Look what it did to me. I had to use drugs. They made me do this. They said, get to know the criminals. And I got to know the drugs. Eventually, I was one with the criminals, man. You know, like my leg is sore now. I, I, I'm, tr I'm, you know, I'm coming down. Right? It's nothing but pain. Always resting, not eating right. Lots of candy and gummy bears and the Mountain Dew. Oh, I'm hearing noises. Did you hear that crack sound? Did somebody say crack? Oh God. Could I give you five bucks just for a hit? If you look closely, you can see a very close resemblance between the undercover officer and the man who fixes Jerry's cabinets on Seinfeld. Roger was shot in the face on November 22nd, 2017. November 22nd is the same day that John F. Kennedy was assassinated. It is also the birthday of Scarlett Johansson. Also one of the strangest things here is that Serpico, played by Al Pacino, later is getting accosted by an undercover cop. As we know, Al Pacino, years later, played Lefty in the Mafia movie where he connects with Donnie the Jeweler, aka Donnie Brasco, an undercover agent that he believes to be his friend. Do you really think you're gonna sit there and hate on this guy that much for drinking with two beers versus a cop that shot him in the face? It's like, oh no, there's really that much shit. Dude, I'm gonna tell you something, but I was standing at the corner of Clearbrook and South Fraser Way in Abbotsford, Abbotsford, BC, waiting for a friend to come out of the bank because I didn't feel like waiting in a bank. I just felt like getting some fresh air. Maybe I was having a cigarette, I don't remember. But I do remember that I was waiting there for 10 to 12 minutes, maybe 15 tops. And at that intersection, I quote, I paid attention to this, not one, not two, not three, but four near accidents with people turning at the wrong time. They were actually coincidentally, very, very coincident. They were all, I noticed, from India, each of them. And of course, I don't hold no grudge against Indian drivers, and I wouldn't say that they're any worse than any drivers, but it just happened to be, you know, there's a large Indian population or percentage of people that live in that part of Abbotsford, so, you know, that's probably what it is. But four in 12 to 15 minutes? You really think they were all drinking? Possible. But is it possible that some people are just not that aware? They don't drive that well. Some people are in a rush. Anybody could have a problem, but I'm just saying four. Who cares? Who even cares where they're from? Four people almost had an accident. I swear to God, in that span of time. How many near accidents and actual accidents do we have at that intersection? In other places, maybe in Abbotsford. Surrey! Richmond! 
Pender Street, Hong Kong. You're a virgin. Subscribe and like. Don't drink and drive. And watch out for undercover cops. They drive Dodges by chance. Uh, we're going to show a picture. They drive Dodges. These guys. Apparently, they're driving Trans Ams, Corvettes, Ferraris, monster trucks. They're driving everything. Volkswagens, smart cars. You know, it's, uh, they're just, they're impounded cars. They're taking them and driving them. Make sure to subscribe and watch this channel or I will, um, I will drink and drive only right behind you on a crosswalk. I'm not really going to do that, but I'll, I'll throw, like, a tomato at you, maybe. Yeah, a little interview here with Serpico. Uh, Serpico, so you were a New York cop from the 1970s? Yeah, that's right. Did, uh, didn't put my time in and, uh, yeah, I helped out, I helped clean up the streets. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of dirty cops back in those days. It was hard not to take a cut, you know, I had to do, do the right thing. So, um, what, what's going on right now? You're working undercover? Yeah, I work undercover and, um, you know, back in the 70s things were different. Well, tell me how so. Well, you know, uh, you had to sort of slap people around a little bit, you know, minorities, the loiter in. So you, you rough them up, you push them around. Of course, that's how things were back in the day. That's right, you know, and you, uh, sometimes you gotta slip some drugs into their pocket. Hey, what's this? They're doing time and, uh, you're putting food on the table for your family. And you're a really good person because of that, and I respect that. Uh, what about you there? Are you guys Christians? Yeah, we're Christians. Christians, are you? Okay, uh, we're gonna take a word. We're gonna hear get a word from our sponsor. Actually, take a little commercial break. Some of the names in this video were changed to protect the innocent. So until next time, don't trust anyone who drives a Dodge. I'm Bill Curtis. Two shot. It's getting smarter.